Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series we're taking a look at HTC's HT7 smartphone running on Windows Phone 7. In this episode, we're going to show you how to connect your phone to your computer using the USB dongle that came in the box. Now, when you got your HT7 out of the box for the first time, you probably noticed that it came with a USB cable and a power adapter to plug your phone directly into the wall. Now, of course, you can use the USB cable that came with that to plug it directly into your computer instead and actually transfer information. So unplug it from the adapter and plug it directly into your computer. First thing you're going to need to make this all work, of course, is software on the computer end to make this happen. You can go to Zune.net to download the Zune software. Of course, Zune you might remember as the music player from Microsoft, and while this has gone away for the most part, Zune is still included inside Windows Phone 7 phones. It runs behind the scenes for running the music, of course, but also for transferring information back and forth to the phone. After you've installed the Zune software in your machine, you'll have to restart the machine and relaunch the Zune software by double-clicking on it. Then you'll log in using your Windows Live ID. By logging in using your Windows Live ID, you can purchase things on the phone itself and use that to transfer to the phone. Or if you purchase it on your desktop, you can actually download it for free on the phone at a later point. Click on Next to get started, and then it'll ask you to give your phone a more memorable name. We're going to enter something we recognize here, so Butterscotch WP7 in this case, so we know what phone it is. Then choose Next, and it'll save the new name to your phone. Then it'll check to see if there are any firmware updates for the phone. If there are, it'll download and install them here. Now, don't disconnect your phone while it's going through the update process because this can actually cause a problem with your phone. That's a bit of a lengthy update process, so you might want to block out a bit of time before you start doing this to make sure that you have the time to actually get this done without having to disconnect your phone. Now, once this is all done, you'll get a screen showing a list of all the items that you can sync and how to do that. At the top of the screen, you'll see a collections, and it'll show you a list of content that you can manage using the Zoom software. For example, you can click on the photos and then start adding photos into your photos collection here. On the left-hand side, you can navigate over to where the photos live on your computer. Or if you want, you can actually drag a photo in directly from your desktop into the right-hand pane. Same goes for music. You can actually drag folders right into the tab on the right-hand side. And then they'll appear as albums in your list. Now, if you want to sync photographs, music, or video over to your phone, you'll actually grab it on the list in your collections there and drag it over into the little phone icon in the bottom left-hand corner of the Zune software. If your phone is connected, it'll automatically start the transfer. Now, of course, using the Zune software, you can use the Marketplace on here and actually buy things. It'll put it into your collection, and then you can sync it to your phone as well. For anything that costs money, of course, you'll need to make sure that you have a credit card associated with your account. Otherwise, you can just download free items, but nothing that costs money to download. You can purchase apps and games here as well. If they're phone-specific, you can't actually download and run them on the Zune software here on your computer, but you can download them to the phone at a later time with no additional charge. Well, that's a look at using the Zune software on your computer to manage the content on your phone. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we show you other ways of interacting with your HD7 phone and Windows Phone 7. You can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.